Well, take two. I've just started recording and the dog was drinking like mad and I wasn't listening to what he was doing. So as I was saying, it's a Sunday morning and what better thing to do than to draw or paint. So this morning I've decided to um, tidy up from the last painting that I did, as you know, which was Kelso, Kelso Abbey. And I've made a bit of a mess. I tell you, I'm not I'm not a tidy painter as you can see and I do use an array of paints and different qualities different standards some might say that you know you're supposed to use the most expensive paints and the most expensive canvases I go with the flow that's what I do so today I've decided I'm going to try and finish a picture that I started um, a couple of weeks ago for a friend of mine who who's got this dog um, and I'll talk a little bit, a little bit more about this project and this, um, this picture when I've tidied everything up. I've made a coffee, and um, I can get started. So I'll speak to you soon, folks. Up in the morning, it's on the downs And little white clouds like a gambling lens And I am a breathless over you And the red-breasted robin beats his wings As a throat it trembles when he sings For he is a helpless bit for you And the happy hood of bluebells bow And the pen Heads of the town, a heavy by the early morning dew. At the whispering stream, at the bubbling brook, the fishes leap up to take a look. For they are breathless over you. Still your hands, still your heart, still your face comes shining through. And all the morning. Still your mind and still your soul for still the fire of a love is true and I am a breathless without you The 
in circles among the trees and it bangs about of the new made leaves for it is a breathless without you and the fox chases the rabbit around and the rabbit hides beneath the ground for he is defenseless without you the sky of daytime dies away and all well welcome back everybody as you can see this guy his name is Stanley has um, got a little bit of colour so I've um, just used colouring pencils on Stanley he's called the king of the castle in his house he's um, a friend's dog and I promised her I would have him ready before Christmas. He's been quite difficult actually because he's he's so full of colour. Trying to get the correct shades. So uh, he's he's become quite multicoloured. I've gone out and I bought a few more um, pencils today to um, to try and match him. But hopefully I'm going to get more of his personality than I am his actual colour. He's actually on a bench, but I'm going to put him on a, a set of rocks as requested by his um, owner. So, I'll see how he gets on. It's bonfire night, so I'm listening to the fireworks. And my, my dog is shaking like a leaf in his cage. So I'm going to stay in and spend the night with him and see how I get on with Stanley. So, see you later. Bye now. Okay, so I'm nearly at the stage where I need to add his background because Stanley is almost complete. I will be adding some white on areas to um, just to highlight his, his fur. When I set up the workspace for pencil work or paints, I get out all my bits out. And I've just come across a pencil. Now this pencil, I've got my, my maiden name on Fedor. And I've had this pencil since I was, oh, 12. Clearly brown isn't a pencil that I've used much of because my mum, um, when she was alive, had bought us all pencils for Christmas with all our names on. I've still got that. I can't believe I've still got that pencil. And it's great, it's it's an ideal colour. Brown is a really hard one to get and this seems to be perfect for Stanley. It's great when you reminisce. Where did I get that pencil from? Where did I get that paintbrush from? It's my birthday coming up. I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be asking everybody for new pencils, new paintbrushes, canvases, so I can rock and roll and Produce lots of paintings and drawings for you all to see. Okay, now, what I need to do is establish a background for Stanley to proudly be standing on. Let's go white in there first. Don't think you can ever have enough pencils, you can never have enough Eight brushes.
okay now I'm at the stage where I'm wanting to put a little bit of highlight so I've got myself some acrylic paint that I'm going to use the highlight because the pencil won't highlight very well I've put some rocks like I said I was going to around the dog but I don't want the rocks to become any focus the focus is the dog so I'm only going to do a little bit I, li I like to feel confident with a bit of unfinished unfinished work and to to feel all right about that one of my favorite artists is Egon Shield. I'm not sure whether you're familiar with any of Egon Shield's work I always carry this around one of my favorite Egon Shield pieces of work and there's always elements of Egon Shield's work which is unfinished and I, I kind of like that so I'm just going to highlight the areas that need that nice sharp white bit I can scrape into this at a later date as well so if I feel like there's too much white around the eye or on his fur I can scrape it away with having the acrylic again like I said to you in the first vid mixed media is my favourite I'm not afraid to mix paint with pencils fireworks are still going tonight dog's been shaking like mad Stanley looks like he's nearly coming to an end proud looking dog <laughs> 